Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go over how to handle API requests within React. And so to do this, we're going to use two different tools and we'll go over how to do it in both. One of them being Axios and the other being the Fetch API. So we'll do, we'll handle a get and a post request of both of these to show you how that works. And then from that, you could also do a put or delete or anything else um, using the same sort of concepts. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, Axios is this NPM package we can install, and I'll put the documentation to this below, and this will go over a little bit how to use it if you want to go over it here. Uh, you'll see down here, it's using uh, dot .then, dot .catch, that sort of stuff. We're going to use um, async await here, uh, which has examples down here as well, but if you want to use the other way, um, you can do that right here. Um, you see an example of that right here as well. So let's go ahead and get started by installing this first. So I'm going to open my terminal up here. I'm going to go ahead and stop it for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and just run uh, npm i axios to install it. I'm going to rerun my server now with that install. And we can go ahead and start going over how to use that. So to use these APIs, I'm going to go ahead and use JSON placeholder .type typecode.com. Um, this uh, website here, this will give you just like a fake API you can use just to get responses just as, as a test. Um, you can see these different resources they have here, posts, comments, albums, to do's. We're going to use to do's in this example, but you can see an example of how to use it here. So let's go ahead and get started by using that. So if you if you see the URL just come from this, it's just a fake thing. Um, that way you don't need to set anything up for it. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with this. So we'll make all these requests inside of our form component just to keep things simple. And to begin, we're going to start with just a get request. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new function right down here. I'm going to create const and put uh, call it get data. It'll be an arrow function. I'll take a no arguments. I'm going to call get data inside of the use effect just so it runs automatically as soon as we uh, open up the application. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything inside of here. And now inside of here, go ahead and make this request. So first things we'll need to do is we'll need to import Axios. So I'll do import Axios from Axios. And then in here in the get data function, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, const. And I'm going to destructure the response. Um, and the data for the request that you get back, the response data, will be in this object called data. So we can pull that out of the response object here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do await. And actually, since I'm using async await, I need to put async up here as well. We'll do await axios.get for get requests. And I'm going to go ahead and copy in the URL. So I'm going to just grab one from here. Um, let's go ahead and get the first to do. So we'll copy that. We'll come back here. We'll paste that right there. And that's all we need for the very basic example. I'm going to go ahead and just console.log the data to know we get it back correctly. Now I come back to my web browser here. And you'll see when we open up the console, we're getting this object back. Uh, ID, title, user ID. So this is our to-do item right here. If we wanted to, we could change this to um, just slash to-dos. And we come back here, and it gives us all 200 to-dos. And you can look through them all here. It's just a bunch of test data. Okay, so that's how you use Axios to get a get request. Now let's go over uh, the fetch API. So we'll see here, um, Mozilla has a good you know, bit of documentation on it here if you want to go through um, some information on it. But let's go ahead and go through an example now how to use this. So I'll go ahead and just comment out my Axios example here, just so we know we're logging out the correct one here. And now to use this fetch API, all we have to do is type fetch, and then parentheses, pass in our URL, and then if we want to pass any other options, we can do a comma and pass them all inside of an object here. For get requests, we shouldn't need to pass any options, really, um, at least not in this example. So all we need to do is pass in the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this URL here and paste it right in here. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just do the dot then dot catch. So we'll do dot then, and then we'll do response, and we'll do response dot json 
and then we'll do a dot then so after that then we'll go ahead and do a json and we'll do uh, console.log uh, the json that we get back we'll save that we'll come back here come up to our react app here we'll refresh the page and there we go we get our data back the same way as before so that is how you use the fetch uh, API instead. It's a little different. You don't have to install any other dependencies. You can just put fetch and then in parentheses here, pass in the URL and then just dot then dot then. You could do a dot catch as well if you wanted to, but we'll keep it just like that for this example. That work, those work great for get requests, but if you want to handle a post request or a put request or something else, you may need to put some more options in and pass in like a, like a body and these other things for the request to go through correctly. And that requires a little bit more setup. So let's go ahead and go over how to do that now as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just come out of everything we just did and take away this just to keep our console from getting too crowded with other stuff here. I'm also going to go ahead and com uh, comment out the console.logs inside of our handle submit. And below this, we'll go ahead and put our new API requests. And just a note here, I'm putting this inside of handle submit. Uh, that way, like, every time we submit the form, this will run. Um, you know, if we had a form, maybe you want to do a post request with that data. So that's why I'm putting it here. Uh, it just seems to make sense to put our post requests right here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create our Axios request first. So we'll go ahead and do an await axios.post. And now this time. So with Axios, you put the request name um, right after. Um, or as a method being called off of Axios. So it's axios.get.post.put.delete.whatever. Uh, then inside here, once again, we can pass in the URL. Uh, I'll go ahead and just copy this one in again. And then for Axios, we can pass our options in here. So we want to add in a body and a config object so we can set this up. So First, we'll, we'll define our body. So let's do a const body equals. Inside of here, we can put whatever data we want. So I'll just do uh, test data five. Uh, then we'll go ahead and create a config object as well. Config equals, and this will equal, we want to set our headers. So we'll put headers, and then we'll do content, capital C, content type. And we'll set this to application slash JSON. And now we save that. We come back over here. I need to make this function async. Okay, there we go. Um, and we'll go ahead and go to our network tab here and we'll pass in some data here, whatever we want here, hit login. And then one of these uh, looks like this one right here. Yep. So we give some more space here. We have these to do requests. Um, this one right here is our post request. So this is the option we just sent. And you see in the payload, we have test data five, which is what we put as our body. Um, and then you look in the header. So you can also see our content type uh, right here being set to application slash JSON. So we sent the request and set our headers and our body using these two um, options inside of uh, the access requests. And so any other headers or anything else you want to set for the request can go inside this config object and anything else you want to put in the body can go here. Now we could use our state variables here if we wanted to, but just for a simple example, uh, I just put it in there. Okay, that works well. Now let's go ahead and go over how to do the same thing with, um, with the fetch API. So right down here, I'm going to go ahead and do fetch. And I'll do HTTPS. Um, I'm just going to copy it in just to keep it from taking up too much time. Copy that and paste it right there. And then, uh, like I said earlier, we can pass our options in this object right here. So I'll do make an object there. And then inside of here, um, first we need to set our method because you noticed here we didn't set the method anywhere up here uh, like we did here. So first we'll need to do is method. And this will equal post. And then we can set our headers right here and we can create an object here. We'll pass in content type. And then once again, application slash JSON. And then after the headers, we can go and pass in a body. 
Now, one different thing we'll need to do here that we didn't do before is we need to make sure whatever we pass in the body here matches our content type header. So in this case, it needs to be JSON. So what we'll do here is we'll do a JSON.stringify. We'll pass in our body. And then down here, we can do a dot then, and then we can do response, and then we'll do response.json, and then we'll do another dot then, and then we'll go ahead and take the JSON here and do a console.log JSON. Okay, we'll save that, and then we'll come back to our browser here. Refresh the page here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some more data here. Hit log in. We get this post request here once again, and our content type is set to application slash JSON, and the payload has test data equaling five. Okay, perfect. And that's how you go over, and that's how you do handle different API requests within React. You can do it with just uh, creating a, you can do it with either fetch or with Axios, whatever you prefer. Um, and this is how you go over with both for both a get and a post request. And that is really all we're going over in this video. I want to make just a quick one going over how to handle different um, API requests within React. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, all the code will be in the description below, as well as links to the documentation for all of this in case you want to go further into it. Uh, that's just a get and a post request. You can go ahead and keep and do the same for a put or a delete. It would be axios.put, axios.delete, or you can change the method here for fetch and set all the other options up the same way. Um, but that's it. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.